Hey everyone, welcome back to Garden State Growing. My name is Eric and we're here to clone some mushrooms. So let's get to it. Alright guys, now cloning mushrooms is pretty straightforward, but it's at this point where sterility makes all the difference in the world. Now normally I would do this inside of my still air box, but you guys are not going to be able to see anything if I do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of them without the still air box uh, to show you guys. And then I'm going to do the rest inside the still air box. <laughs> and here we are. So let's take a look around. They got a nice eating section over here. You can get some Korean food, some Kono chicken, some sushi over there. Mushrooms. This is what I want because I want to try to grow these. So, I want to pick something that looks fresh. That one has a nice big guy in there. A couple big guys in there. Sorry, I wanted to show you. So, I'm going to get those. Here are our king oyster mushrooms. Definitely going to get these. Um, Anokis. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. My Taki. They look good. So this is definitely, if, if I can focus, there we go. These are, what I'm looking for though is shiitakes and they look beautiful. Them, oh, I'm not gonna cultivate these, okay? These are wood ear mushrooms. These are delicious. They have a unique texture to them they're kind of um rubbery a little bit <laughs> there's no other way to describe it but they have this amazing flavor and i strip them down and i add these to so many different dishes uh it's just amazing i maybe i'll try i don't think i can cultivate these but i will definitely try all right so first of all i'm going to sterilize my hands I did wash them very good. I got underneath the fingernails. I'm gonna wipe this all in. So these aren't sterile, but they will be after I spray them down with alcohol. I wanna spray down my work surface with alcohol. Wipe it down really good. I already washed and wiped down this and it's already just a little shot glass that's full of alcohol. And our Petri dish. I want to wipe this down. I'm going to spray the outside of this really good. Let all the alcohol dry off. And the first one we're going to be doing is our shiitake. It's a little worse for wear right now. But that's okay, because for what we're going for, it'll be nice. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my scalpel blade. The alcohol is going to light off. And this is just going to heat sterilize. I honestly don't know the validity or how important this is, to be honest with you. Because a sterile blade in alcohol is a sterile blade in alcohol. I just cool it off on the paper towel that's soaked with alcohol. All right, I'm going to put that aside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right where the stem meets the cap. And then I'm going to cut right down the middle. And see this really nice white stuff right in here, the actual body. This has been protected from contamination because it's been inside the mushroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And I just want to clean out a couple pieces of the nice clean stuff. I'm going to put that right on my agar agar dish. And I'll probably do about three pieces. There's another one. Let's see if I can get another clean piece. I 
Okay, right there, that's it. I'm gonna close this up. There you go. Now don't forget to label it because we get a marker. I can guarantee that after a while you're gonna have no idea what's inside this Petri dish. So we're gonna do shiitake. Today is 3-16-2020. And put this aside. As long as I can get a nice clean strike in the middle. Pull up my parafilm. Once again, I'm gonna cut the mushroom right down the center. Now listen guys, I understand there's a thousand different ways to do this. This is just the way I do it. So now that I have a nice clean strike in the middle, I'm gonna just run it up the blade down, get myself out a couple slices. There, nice and neat. And I'm gonna just close it up, put that aside. Once again, parafilm. Come on, stretch. All right. Now this is gonna be King Oyster, 316, 2020. All right. So let's try this Mayataki mushroom, see if we can get a clean sample. So I'm just gonna cut them down the middle. Hmm. So small. That looks like a good little piece. Put one there. See if I can get up into the stem here. And get a nice little small piece from the side of here. Now normally people like they'll put the lid back on and then when they're ready to drop the next piece, they'll pull it off and put the other lid back on. I'm gonna put quite a few little pieces in here. Let's see if I can get another really clean piece. Give it its best opportunity to propagate. That looks good. Put that right in the middle there. All right. So that's that with that. You really got to be more careful pouring that agar agar. All right. So that's that. Okay. And my pen. And so this is Maya Taki. It's probably not spelled right, but I don't care. I don't know what it is. Is going to be the wood ear mushroom. Now I have zero idea how to get a good sample out of this mushroom. Sterilize my blade again. Hmm. I almost have zero hopes of this actually culturing, but let's find out. I don't know what that was. This looks like I can get a pretty decent piece out of here. It's going to be an experiment, so we'll just have to check back on that. Another piece of parafilm. Okay, again, like I said, I, I would normally do this in my still airbox. I'm doing it outside my airbox for you guys, um, but I'm going to make duplicates of, of everything that I'm doing right now inside my airbox. So if these do get caught, the other one and stretch it out. Here, same thing, 316, 2020. The last one I want to show you on camera is going to be right here, the Anoki mushroom. Now, this is a fantastic mushroom, and these little guys are getting cooked up tonight for dinner. But let's see if I can get these to propagate in a petri dish. I don't. And traditionally, just like you would, you want to go right under the cap where the stem meets the cap. And this is going to be extremely difficult. So let me see if I can slice this in half and pull it open. So maybe if I just, yeah, look at that. See this? I'm getting it all from the inside. So it should be relatively safe. I just kind of scraped it. Oh yeah, fantastic. I think that's gonna work out real well. Let me grab another one. Try to pick a big one. Same thing, I'm gonna cut the cap off. Split it down the middle. And just scrape a little bit of that out and put that in there. Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens with that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this up. I'm gonna break open my sterile up air box and uh, finish the rest of these up. But if you stay to the end of the video, I got another surprise to you. We're actually gonna do something different and we're gonna make a liquid culture. Noki, and this is 316. 2020. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to clean up and we'll come back in a minute when I'm done with this and we'll move on to a liquid culture. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. I went to pull up my next Petri dish and this is a Petri dish that has gone bad. As you can see, it's, it had some black around the rims and it is definitely growing something. What we're growing there, I don't know, but it's definitely not a mushroom and I don't want to know. That is how... Um, 
important sterility is. All right, everyone. I got all my petri juices done. I cleaned up. I sprayed everything down with alcohol. I'm going to spray my hands down again. And now we're going to do something a little different. What I have here is a mason jar, one that I sterilized uh, in my pressure canner. And it should have a nice good seal on it. Oh, yeah. Okay, you heard that? That means it was nice and sterilized. And then what I have here is a shiitake mushroom that I put underneath a cup. And that looks a little worse for wear. And I don't know if you can see, it's very, very, very light. But it dropped a white spore print. So what I'm gonna do Sterilize my forceps. I need to get this shot glass at, out of there full of water. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Let me pour a little bit back. Now this is all sterile water. I'm going to dip my blade back into the alcohol. I'm definitely going to flame sterilize for this. And I'm going to cool it off in the water. And all I'm going to do is take my blade and gently scrape the tin foil. And try to pick up as much of those spores as I can. Now, I've personally never done this before, so this is an experiment. Don't act like uh, I'm some kind of expert teaching you how to do this. I'm really not. This is my first time ever attempting to make a liquid culture. Okay, I think that's about it. Now in here, there should be a couple million shiitake spores. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to take a syringe, you can get these from Wayfair if you want, and I'm going to draw up this liquid. This syringe is already sterile, I just opened it up from its package. And that should be it, get the oxygen out of it, I'm going to put the cap back on, and then I'm going to take another piece of parafilm. And just to make sure that it stays sterile. I'm going to wrap it right where the cap meets the syringe. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on cloning mushrooms. I have my Petri dishes that are going to go into a cardboard box. I'm going to put them out of the way, check them every couple days, see how well they're doing, make sure they're not getting cross-contaminated with something else. And we did our little experiment with our liquid culture that should have millions of uh, shiitake spores in it. So I'm going to throw this in the freezer and we'll see when it comes time to inoculating a fruiting block. I'll hit it with this and see what happens. So thank you for coming along with me on this journey of cloning mushrooms and making a liquid uh, spore culture. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with everybody that you know. I've got 19 subscribers right now. Fantastic. Hooray. <laughs> Not bad for a week. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy your night. I, I have another video to shoot on planting my seedlings. That will be coming up very soon, too. I'm going to take this, throw it in the refrigerator before I whip it across the wall by accident. Have a good night.